Okay, let's look at ethane with a little bit more detail now. Here is our Newman projection of ethane, which we have seen before. And when we look at these Newman projections, we actually tend to define them by something called a dihedral angle. And a dihedral angle is the angle of separation between two selected groups on the front and back atom that we're looking at. So in this case, carbon one and carbon two, which we can't see behind there. So to make these clear, I'm going to put little stars by these hydrogens. The angle of separation in this case is defined as zero degrees. There's no separation between these two hydrogens. Note that what we're defining is an angle that requires four atoms. It's called a dihedral angle. This is different from um, angles that we defined before, which were simple bond angles. So a simple bond angle just requires three atoms. And, you know, we talked about these when we discussed hybridization, like bond angle of one or nine and a half for a tetrahedral atom. But dihedral angles are a little bit different. So they require four atoms. Now, as it turns out, we can, um, this is just one possibility for a conformation of ethane. So what we can do is we can turn this back carbon. This is actually an equilibrium, a little lopsided there. But to draw th this next structure, we're going to simply draw our front carbon the same because it hasn't changed. And now let's draw these hydrogens where they would be. Well, this uh, the starred hydrogen would go right there. Um, this particular back hydrogen would end up pointing down. And this particular hydrogen will rotate six degrees and be pointing up. So um, we now have a new dihedral angle, and this is going to be a 60 degree bond angle. We'll do this two more times. We'll continue rotating down by another 60 degrees. There's our front carbon. These hydrogens are now going to be tucked behind the front ones. And so between our starred atoms, we have a dihedral of 120. Great. And finally, we'll rotate this another 60 degrees. Again, just simply redraw your front carbon because it doesn't change. And the hydrogens that change are the ones in the back. So there's our starred atom, starred hydrogen. There are other hydrogens. And now we have a dihedral of a healthy 180 degrees. So here are different, uh, different conformations of ethane determined by rotating about this uh, carbon-1, carbon-2 bond. Carbon-1, carbon-2 bond. So now let's... Look at these from an energy standpoint. Because it turns out these conformations are not equivalent in energy. So the first one we'll go to is right here. As it turns out, when you bring these two CH bonds, these electron clouds, in close pro proximity, there is a repulsion. It's called torsional strain. In fact, people call this conformation an eclipsed conformation. This is going to be a high energy conformation. So let's label some angles down here. And that energy is going to be high, and we'll quantify that in just a second. As we rotate these hydrogens away from each other, we get these bonding pairs away, we release that torsional strain, and we ultimately get to 60 degrees, which is called a staggered conformation. And we release that energy so the energy goes low. Once we go back to 120, we bring these CH bonds, and you know, I'm only highlighting these CH bonds. It's those, it's those CH bonds too, and those CH bonds as well. We go back up in energy, and then we go back to 180, and we get back to a new staggered conformation. 
and we get this. And so I'm going to try to sketch out this curve. It's not going to be very pretty, but that's a close representation. So what we see is we've drawn four different conformations, two different eclipse conformations, uh, represented by different dihedral angles, 0 and 120, and two staggered conformations represented by two dihedral, 60 and 180. And But those aren't the only conformations. You could have a dihedral angle of 45, of 22.6. I mean, there's an infinite number of conformations. But the most stable of all those co infinite conformations is going to be these staggered conformations. Now, what is the energy of this? As it turns out, the energy cost of eclipsing two hydrogens is 1 kcal per mole. Let's write it down here. This is 1 kcal per mole. So we have three of these 1 kcal per mole interactions. So the energy here is 3 kcal per mole. And once you release that energy, you get down to a zero. So the eclipsing energy of a Two, uh, two CHs is 1 kcal per mole in ethane. And we'll see more of these Newman projections as we uh, look at more complicated molecules.